The former leader of the Light Democratic Forces Rebels, Jamil Mukulu, who was leading a quiet life in hiding in Tanzania, was struck down by the country's police after his accomplices were found with forged passports. The four suspects were arrested by Tanzanian police as they investigated a racket accused of forging passports. They are Mohamed Matovu, who also goes by the alliances of Mohamed Matovu, Hamid Matovu, Sebaduka Mohamed. The other three are Omari Abdallah Mutola, Bashir Mwanda, and Abdul Rashid Kalanje. Matovu, who was arrested last month, is the main suspect. His explanation or his statement led to suspicion that there are other Ugandans who are behind a spate of forged Tanzanian passports. And uh, this is the reason that led them to the house of Jamir Mukuru, who was consequently also arrested. Matovu also reportedly holds a British passport. It's believed to have been doing business on Mukulu's behalf. Interpol has applied to have the suspects deported to Uganda for trial. Probably by next week, um, the other two will be brought to court and um, a decision for their deportation made and brought to Uganda. Matovu and Abdallah were also on the wanted list of the police for murder especially the recent spate of killings in Busoga. The legal uh, reasons why we want them extradited to Uganda because of those murders that took place. For now, it's not clear if this has played a role in weakening the ranks of the ADF after reports emerged that last week they killed about 30 people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But it does play a great role in weakening their network and also lowering their morale. Kasinje commended Interpol for fighting international crimes. For the police and for this country to be able to arrest people who are behind this spate of murders is very, very, very significant. The process to extradite Mukulu to Uganda is ongoing now before a high court in Dar es Salaam. In Uganda, he faces charges of murder, prison and terrorism. Moses Akena, NTD.